what is public key encryption in this video we will try to understand that if we want to send a message to someone so that no unauthorized person can decrypt and read it then we need to encrypt the message with a strong secret key encryption is a process using which plain text is converted into cipher text with the help of a secret key when we use a good encryption algorithm and a strong secret key the cipher text is so much different from the plain text that it becomes computationally infeasible to convert the cipher text back to the plain text without knowing the secret key decryption is the reverse process in decryption the cipher text message is converted back to plain text with the help of a secret key there are two types of encryption symmetric key encryption and public key encryption or asymmetric encryption symmetric key encryption is an encryption process in which the same key is used for both encryption and decryption in other words if a user encrypts plain text with a secret key and sends the cipher text to another user the recipient needs to use the same secret key to decrypt the cipher text but there is a problem with this approach if alice wants to send some encrypted message to bob they need to use a pre-shared key or share the secret key over a secure channel but that may not be always feasible so we often use public key encryption or asymmetric encryption in public key encryption or asymmetric encryption a user generates a key pair consisting of a private key and a public key the private key is kept secret with the user and the public key can be shared with others if a message is encrypted with the public key then it can only be decrypted with the corresponding private key and vice versa so if alice wants to share an encrypted message with bob she can do so easily using public key encryption firstly bob needs to share the public key with alice now alice can encrypt the message using bob's public key and send it across bob can decrypt the message using his private key as only bob possesses the corresponding private key no one else other than bob can decrypt and read the message public key encryption is quite secure but the encryption and decryption processes are quite computationally intensive so in real life encrypted communications we often use public key cryptography to authenticate the communicating parties and then we generate a secret symmetric session key the symmetric session key is then used to encrypt the actual messages i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more please refer to the book cryptography and public key infrastructure or visit the website of the security body the relevant links are provided in the description the security body also provides many cyber security courses the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos